Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Unfortunately, recently, uh, missiles, rockets, and other sorts of warheads like that have been in the news a lot because of the shipping crisis in the uh, Red Sea caused by the Houthi rebels of Yemen and uh, the unprovoked war in Ukraine. It, it means that uh, between the news and some of the commentary I've seen in other places, it, people are just calling things the wrong names. And I've gotten a lot of questions of uh, well, what is the difference between this and that and the other thing. So uh, today we're gonna talk about the difference between rockets and missiles and ballistic missiles versus cruise missiles. So today we are with one of Battleship New Jersey's Tomahawk cruise missiles. All of the missiles that Battleship New Jersey carried in the 80s are cruise missiles, not ballistic missiles. During the Vietnam War, she would have carried Zuni rockets. So what exactly is the difference between all this? Well, first of all, rocket means a different thing in a military context than it does in a civilian context. So if you go to the dictionary and look up missile, it'll basically give you any sort of thrown object or propelled object uh, that, that has a target. If I picked up a, a rock and threw it at you, that would be a missile. Uh, if I fired an arrow at you, that would be a missile. If I launched a rocket at you, that would be a missile. As opposed to rockets, which uh, refers to the type of propulsion that the projectile has. So by the civilian definition, all rockets are missiles, but not all missiles are rockets. Uh, the exact definition of a rocket in the civilian sense is a, is a cylindrical object that moves fast by forcing out burning gases, especially when used uh, for space travel or military weapons. However, in a military context, the difference between missile and rockets has to do with the guidance, uh, namely, if there is any or not. Rockets tend to be unguided weapons, while missiles are guided. So, the Zuni rockets that Battleship New Jersey carried as chaff launchers during the Vietnam War, completely unguided. You point them more or less in the direction you want them to go, and they fly off in that direction. While the missiles that we carried in the 80s are guided, they're potentially fired at targets hundreds of miles away, and so they need a guidance system to make sure they get there. So in the military context, rockets tend to be cheaper, easier, uh, things that you might have heard about in the news that are rockets would be uh, something like a law, a light anti-tank weapon, it's just a shoulder-fired munition, or an RPG, a uh, shoulder-fired thing, you point it at a tank or armored vehicle or whatever and fire it, versus uh, some of the things that are guided missiles, Patriot missiles, which are an anti-aircraft system, that is guided so they can hit another um, target. HIMARS, Javelins, all of these are sophisticated guided missiles, not rockets. Missiles can be divided even further. The two definitions that we're going to look at today, because they've been in the news a lot lately, are ballistic missiles versus cruise missiles. A ballistic missile this is the easy one, it follows a ballistic arc. So this allows it to go higher, uh, it often allows it to get more range because it doesn't need to have uh, the propulsion burning the whole time. Once it gets to the top of its arc, it can cut out and just plunge towards the target for the back half of its trajectory. And we're seeing a lot of ballistic missiles being launched from Yemen. Uh, oftentimes, especially these shorter range versions, are relatively unsophisticated, uh, cheap, uh, oftentimes cheaper than the missiles that we're using to intercept them with, but less likely to hit a target. On the more sophisticated side of things, you have cruise missiles, which are things like the Harpoons and the Tomahawks that Battleship New Jersey would carry. Those cruise on a flight path. So you'll notice that rather than just having tail fins that sort of help it stabilize in flight, it actually has wings. It, it's basically an unmanned aircraft. And notice it's got an air intake under it. The civilian definitions of rockets that are carrying uh, a lot of their air and that, that are carrying their fuel and air on the inside 
missiles can use propulsion systems that take in air, mix it with their fuel, and force it out the back to get their propulsion. This requires them to fly at lower altitudes where the oxygen is more rich, whereas ballistic missiles intentionally need to go high, cruise missiles tend to fly low, and it actually helps with programming their flight path. Uh, oftentimes they can go in below an enemy's radar and be relatively undetectable until they actually start their attack profile, go up, and then crash into their target. Again, this requires oftentimes a more sophisticated guidance system. So what I suspect we're seeing is a lot of Houthi rockets and ballistic missiles coming out. And when the United States and our allies responds, it'll be cruise missiles like this one that goes back. Regardless on the cost sheet, it is costing the Houthi rebels relatively nothing to restrict world trade significantly, while it costs Western navies a significant amount to protect shipping, which oftentimes is not even flagged under the countries, is not paying taxes to the countries that are out there defending them. In the 80s, when the United States protected neutral shipping, we forced them to reflag to American carriers before we gave them escorts, and then they paid taxes to support those escorts. What's the most egregious thing you've seen in the news covering this? If I hear one more newscaster calling a destroyer or an aircraft carrier a battleship instead of a warship, I'm gonna really flip my lid. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.